Do you live in Sarasota, specifically zip code 34240? Well, I've got a market update for you. And this may answer a lot of questions in lieu of the negative real estate headlines you may have been hearing out there. And 34240 specifically tells a very different story quite similar to the rest of Sarasota and Sarasota County in particular. So close sales were up 38.5% over May last year. Cash sales were the talk of the town with over 55% of transactions closing cash versus last year. Cash sales were also up 12.4%. So with regards to high interest rates and things like that, and that's slowing buyers down, clearly that is not affecting our area here. Median and average sales price all up here, over $1 million. I personally like to look at the median price that takes out the hyper luxury market in the area and also the very low single family home uh, prices and gives you more of a true picture versus the average. However, there is actually not that much of a difference for the month of May. Dollar volume naturally up nearly 70%. Median list to sales price ratio. I would say new construction is skewing this. Builders do not really negotiate on price. However, they do a lot of buyer incentives. If we were to just purely break this down to resale, I'd say that 98.4 number is really probably about a 96% list to sales price ratio. Median days to contract down 40%, only nine days. The average home was only on the market for nine days. I will say this is again skewed by some of the new construction sales that do get put into the data here. Uh, equally time to sell 55 days. Regardless of this data, it definitely tells a very different story to the national headlines that homes just aren't selling very quickly because clearly they are. New pending sales up 100%, 30. So that is basically saying at every day a house in 34240 went under contract. New listings also increased. Pending inventory also increased 20, um, 4.2%. Active inventory is up quite a lot. However, we're still not back to the numbers we need. Let's just say during COVID, this zip code would barely have a handful of listings available every month. So we're getting back to some normality here. And again, if we had all of this inventory, we would have more than 3.9 months supply of inventory. What does that mean? Well, if no more homes were listed for the month and 3.9 months time down the road would mean there'd be no homes for sale. Luckily, we are seeing more and more people putting their homes on the market, giving buyers more option, creating more of a competitive market. But clearly we have got some ways to go before we even get there. And I would probably say a month worth of this supply is new construction. So there's not much resale out there right now uh, in the zip code, which again is good for sellers. So if you are thinking of selling or would like a complimentary equity insight report, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to help and look forward to speaking with you guys soon. I'll get another market report up next week.